To find the formal charges for NH3, we'll start with the Lewis structure. We'll use the equation below to look at each atom. So let's start with the nitrogen. Looking at the periodic table, nitrogen is in group 5 or 15. It has 5 valence electrons. We'll subtract the non-bonding valence electrons, and we have 2 non-bonding valence electrons right there. And then we'll subtract the bonding electrons. And we have bonding electrons here, here, and here. So we have a total of six bonding valence electrons, which we'll divide by two. And five minus two minus three gives us a zero. So the formal charge on that central nitrogen there is zero. And we can show that by putting parentheses and a zero next to the nitrogen. Let's look at each of the hydrogens. They're all the same, so we only need to do one. Hydrogen is in group one on the periodic table, so it only has one valence electron. Non-bonding valence electrons, well, all of those electrons are bonded with the nitrogen, so we'll put a zero. And bonding electrons, we have a bond right here that has two valence electrons, so two, and we'll divide that by two. So one minus zero minus one gives us zero. So the formal charges for NH3 are all zero, and that makes sense. We want our formal charges to be as close to zero as possible to give us the most likely or best Lewis structure. So those are the formal charges for NH3. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.